hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is the part 2 video of this angular 14 jwt authentication series okay now we will create a small login form and we are going to consume our nest.js application login api and we are going to receive the access token and refresh token as a response from the login api on successful authentication okay so, so let's add a form here simple form okay container let me add some legend for a heading like sign in okay and to add the email and username and password to enter the username and password i need two input fields so go to bootstrap and go for form section go to overview copy this do okay i don't don't this line okay and duplicate this one okay and label only txt username as i need to id username okay type will be text okay same way txt password password okay type id will be this one and it will be a password okay and let's add a button here for form submission okay like uh, login login button okay btn btn primary okay some click event uh, add a method like user login okay copy this name user login and add it in login component dot ts for now let's empty method so first let's create a form type okay like uh, login model so let me create a uh, interface ng generate interface and this interface is specific to this login component only we don't we use anywhere else so what i will do i will create inside of the uh, auth module so specify the folder name auth and name of my model that is login hyphen model okay create so model is created so login model so properties inside of this interface will be username and password okay but copy those property names from the i have shown you right my nest.js documentation so if you go to login endpoint login endpoint this is login endpoint and it requires payload like right username and password so use same property names so that form data directly sent as a payload for the http call okay and the next property password which is also a string okay now inside of the login component.ts file let me declare a login form of type login model okay so initially username will be empty password will be empty okay 
and I am going to bind this login form to my HTML input field in the login component.html file. Right. So here I can use ng model ng model equal to dot username. Okay. And copy this. And this will be the password. So since we are using ng model, right? We must uh import the forms module in the auth module so go to auth module and import the forms module okay forms module now see the error showing on the login html gone okay so now we are reading and storing all our uh, form data to this right so in the login component, we have to invoke the API call. So to implement the login API call, we have to create the service. Okay, so this is login service and it's going to return some token information which required by entire application, right? So we should not create the service inside of the auth model or auth module. It's better to create some shared folder inside of it we should create so that uh, this service will be available at global level for entire application okay so let's create the service file ng generate service right service and i want to create a folder like shared in the app folder inside of the app folder inside of the shared folder i want one more folder like auth and name of my service. I am going to name it like auth. So the file gets created as auth.service.ts file. Okay. And I don't want any spec files. So open our auth service control. Page. So auth service. So let's inject the HTTP client instance. Okay, that's going to load from import from at the rate angular common HTTP. Okay, HTTP client. Since we are using HTTP client, right? We must import the HTTP uh, module. So in auth auth module, let's import or not auth module in the app module level okay root level we have to import our http client module http client module import it okay now go back to our uh, auth service let's create a method like user login okay and it's going to receive payload and we know the payload type that is login model. Okay. And this dot HTTP dot post. Mine is a login is a HTTP post method. Okay. So copy the URL from here. And to use Authentication, we should run our uh, Nest.js application, right? So please clone this application and follow the steps. Since I have already contains the Nest.js application in my system, I am going to start the Nest.js application. For that, command is this one. So let me run my Nest.js server. Okay, run it. So Nest.js server is up and running. Now let's go to our Angular application. And here, let's get the login. Okay. Which is a HTTP post method. 
and it should pass the payload okay and we know from here documentation it's going to return access token and refresh token right so let's uh, create a model for this response okay so for that what i can do ng generate interface i want to create this interface inside of shared folder and inside of auth folder okay so shared auth and name of my interface that is token iphone model okay create it since it is our api response model right so token model just copy the property names from here both will be the string types okay string. now go to our service auth service so here five and i will use map method from rxjx okay data nothing but the response okay where tokens equal to data just convert as our token model okay now let's save the our token data into the browser storage browser local storage because we have to access from the browser local storage throughout our application if the bro if the user closes the browsers and come back also a application can uses the tokens okay for that reason we have to maintain them as a state that state is nothing but browser local storage so local storage this is a direct uh, method and set item so you have to space key value like we have to store the data so i will give key like tokens and i need to save this tokens object so for that i have to stringify them so json dot json dot stringify because it was it will local storage store as data as string <clears throat> so my tokens model is saved as a string and just let me return true that api call is successful if at all any error occurred let's do catch error and error you can call something like your api logging api okay i'm just doing console.log and i'm going to return false means api call failed so off means it's an observable it is returning expecting so i am using off that loads from the rxjs operator this off i think it gets imported you can see here okay so if api call success we are returning to false we are uh, fails we are returning false okay so this is my uh, service call and here one more thing we are storing our token data into the browser session okay now we have to consume this method into our login component.ts file so to the constructor let in inject the service our auth service okay auth service inside of the user login uh, this dot auth service dot user login and we have to pass out the payload nothing but our login form okay and i am going to subscribe for the data if the data value is true i will show simple alert message like success else 
alert like fail login fail okay so let's test and run whether we are able to successfully get token or not okay so our angular application runs at clock lost 4200 okay i haven't created a login menu navigation right let me add a login menu here okay login link for that go to uh, app component.html okay add a new do like reflex who else and the class will be now but now okay let me copy the menu styling from bootstrap now bar is our now bar so here la now bar now that's fine let me copy this one of the link one la okay and router link will be auth slash login okay and this will be login okay now we should see login menu some design issue let's fix okay, sorry this should be inside of the our div container fluid div okay i think now styling issue should fix okay now i got login right if i click on login see now i got login form now inspect element to check the network call okay and we know test user credentials that is username is test and password is one two three four so test and password is one two three four click on login see i got success alert that means api call is login api is successful so if you click here and if you see the payload password is one two three four username is test and in the preview now here you can see access token and the refresh token right and if you go to application tab and if you go to the storage section and in the local storage under the our angular application c so can see store this is browser session so if i close this browser also these will be there so next time when user opens applications so applications can read these existing tokens and check whether the tokens are valid or not so we are successfully calling the login api with test credentials and we got token as a response as well next this token contains some user information payload like email and clients all those things right we have to extract those details and i can use like uh, uh, once user is successful i will hide this login button in this place i am going to show the user email address something like that email or user profile name something something user related information i can show right for that i need to extract the information from the token right next we are going to do that i hope this video delivered some useful information to you all if you like my video please support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off